الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما برهبة في الله from the Aqeedah of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah the Iqtiqad which is the Aqeedah or Creed of the Salaf al Salih those who Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Khair al-Nas Qarni Thumma Ladheena Yaloonuhum Thumma Ladheena Yaloonuhum The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said the best people are those of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. And so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam was talking about the Sahaba, Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiyallahu Tal'anhu Majma'een, Walau Kari Al Kafirun, Walau Kari Al Mushrikun, Walau Kari Al Ahla Bid'ah, Walau Kari Al Ahla Zandaka. وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْأَهْلِ الْإِلْحَادِ That we say, Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'a, رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلْعَنْهُ مَجْمَعِينَ May Allah be pleased with all the Sahaba to Rasul صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitabih al-Kirim وَسَابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه وعد لهم جنات تجري من تجري تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا ذلك الفوز العظيم. الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة التوبة verse one hundred سبحانه وتعالى قال وس وس وسابقون الأولون and the first and foremost from amongst the Muhajireen Wal Ansar. Muhajireen meaning Ahl Mecca who made Hijrah to Medina. Wal Ansar Ahl Medina who accepted the Muhajireen. And who are they? They're Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anim ajma'een. Walladina tabu'hum bi ihsan and those who follow them in righteousness or in all the ihsan Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him and Allah has prepared for them paradise underneath which rivers flow in which they will dwell in forever and this is the greatest success so the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Ajma'een were promised paradise and they were promised uh, a foes al -Azim. and they're mentioned in the book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala <clears throat> the Quran they're mentioned in the Kalam of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala but yet there are people from Ahl Bid'ah and there are people from Ahl Zandaka and there are people from Ahl Ilhad and people from Ahl Bid'ah Wal Ahwa who curse the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Majma'een who speak ill of Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Majma'een who belittle Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Majma'een and who debase the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiyallahu Ta'ala Majma'een and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Tabaraka Wa Ta'ala praises them in the Quran and gives the, and says that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with them and they are pleased with him but yet someone dare claim that they are muslim and belittle those who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those awliya of allah sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum who preserve the deen who preserve the deen allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Preserve the deen through them. رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب الكريم. ومن يشاقق الرسول من بعد ما تبين له هدى ويعتبى غير سبيل المؤمنين نوله ما تولى ونسله جهنم وسات مصيرا. Allah سبحانه وتعالى says, 
في كتاب الكريم in Surah Nisa verse 115 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and whoever differs or disobeys the messenger after guidance has become clear to them and they follow other than the sabil al-mu'mineen other than the path of the mu'mineen the believers then we will associate them meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put them with those whom they love or those who they took as protectors and supporters and uh they will be burned in the hellfire and what a wicked destination the Mufassireen of Ahl Sunnah the people of Tafsir from Ahl Sunnah they explain that this ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Sabil al-Mu'mineen the path of the believers they explain that this refers to the path of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'i and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem kul alhamdulillah wa salamun ala al-ibadi al-ladheena astafa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem say all praise belongs to Allah and may peace or peace be upon his servants those who he chose who did he choose why do we call them Sahaba who had the Husna Suhba who had the best Suhba companionship it's what we refer to as Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in Allah chose them to be with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam walaw kari al-kafirun even though the disbelievers hate it walaw kari al-ahl al-bid'ah even though the mubtadi'een they hate it and even though walaw kari al-mukhti'een mukhti'een min ahli islam and even if those who make mistakes by slips of the tongue about the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam but they're from Ahlul Islam even though they make this mistake and they belittle Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in it takes nothing away from them because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose them to preserve the religion to be companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised them all throughout the Quran what did the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam say as we already mentioned khayran nas qarni thum alladheena yalunum thum alladheena yalunum the best people are those of my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them who is the generation of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sahaba to rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if the if tarakat al yahud la yatu wa sab'in firqa wa if tarakat al nasara la tinatayn wa sab'in firqa wa satafariku hadhihi umma la thalatha wa sab'in firqa kullaha fi an-nar la wahida kun man hiya ya rasulullah the Prophet وسلم, said the Jews would break into 71 sects and the Christians into 72 sects and my ummah would break into 73 sects all of them in the fire except one they asked who are they Ya Rasulullah he said those are upon what I'm upon and my companions Aliyon, uh, and my companions who? companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said la tusubbu ashabi falaw anna ahadakum anfaqa mithla uhud dhahaban ma balagha muddan mud ahadahum wa la nasifahum the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said as is collected in Bukhari and Muslim sallallahu alayhi wasalam do not curse my companions because if any one of you were to spend the amount of gold to uh, as uh, the height of Mount Uhud, or in measurement of uh, and the weight of Mount, Mount Uhud, it would not even equal to a palm's worth uh, 
of what my companions did. Or even have. Abu Dawood At-Taylasi Rahmatullahi Rahmatullahi Wasi'a said on Ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala in قال إن الله نظر في قلوب العباد فوجد القلب فوجد قلب فوجد قلب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم خير قلوب العباد فبعثه برسالته ثم نظر في قلوب العباد بعد قلب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فوجد قلب أصحابه خير قلوب خير خير قلوب العباد خير قلوب العباد فاختارهم لصحبة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم والنصرة دينه Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> looked to the hearts of his servants and he saw that the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best was the best heart from amongst the hearts of his servants and so he sent him with this with his message then he looked to the hearts of the servants after the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam obviously this doesn't include the NBA and this is just talking about the fadl of the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in Mitra'in فَوَجِدَ قُلُوبَ أَصْحَابِهِ خَيْرًا قُلُوبَ الْعِبَادِ and he found that the the hearts of the companions radiallahu ta'ala in Mitra'in was the best hearts from amongst his servants so he chose them to be companions of his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to assist his religion. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'anu also said, Man kana muta'assiyan fal yata'assi bi ashaab Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fa innuhum kanu abarra hadhi al-umma quloobin وَأَعْمَقَهَا عِلْمٍ وَأَقَلَّهَا تُكَلِّفٍ وَأَقْوَمَهَا هَدِيًّا وَأَحْسَنَهَا حَالًا قوم اختارهم الله لصحبة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم وأقامة دينه فعرفوا لهم فضلهم واتبعوا آثارهم فَإِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا عَلَى هُدَى الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه said that whoever wants to adhere to uh, a strong foundation or the best foundation then they should adhere to the foundation of the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu For verily they were the most righteous from amongst the Ummah in their hearts they had the most uh, righteousness or, uh, or God-fearfulness or piety and they had the deepest knowledge and they had the least shortcomings and they were the best guided and the best condition or status these were a people that Allah chose to for the companionship of Muhammad of his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to establish his religion so no their superior so their superiority and follow their narrations or follow them for verily they were the best guidance the the best guided uh, 
on the straight path. There are countless narrations and countless statements of the Salaf al Salih about the status of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, and his companions and that we know many of the people of desires and the sects that went astray they began by either cursing the companions or speaking about the fitna that occurred between them and belittling some of the companions and fabricating wicked tales about some of the companions and going against the narrations of the Prophet وسلم, who praised his companions and said do not curse my companions and we see that the various groups and sects that attack the companions that they all seek to destroy the bridge of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and the trustworthy handhold of Ahl Sunnah and that is First and foremost, the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then what the companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'in were united upon. That they seek to destroy this rope or this source of guidance because if you destroy the credibility of the companions then you can begin to belittle and whittle away at the sunnah and I know this personally I know people that I see on a daily basis who argue and they're from the people of Ahl Kalam and they are from people who have the effect of the Jahmiya and the Mu'tazila in their Aqidah and they belittle the companions in order to belittle the sunnah and that way they can make taqdeem or give preference to their opinions about what the Quran means and that we don't need the sunnah or we only need a few ahadith of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah because many of them don't conform to our intellect, our intellect. And these are the arguments these people have, Wallah Mista'an. And then there's another group that spend their efforts, their night and their days cursing the companions, cursing them and cursing and making takfir of them and takfir of our mother Aisha. Anha. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and guide us all to the Sirat al-Mustaqeem and protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq and belittle those who belittle the companions radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam